NVIDIA having just announced the RTX 3060, how's that going to compare with the 3060 Ti? 3060 has 12 gigabytes of VRAM, the Ti only has 8, but which one is the better GPU? The answer may actually be surprising. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Remember to hit that thumbs up button. Some say for every thumbs up button that goes up, we understand the difference between these GPUs a little bit more. All right, so the topic at hand here, 3060 versus the 3060 Ti. This is actually a little bit confusing, primarily because of the 12 gigabytes of VRAM on the 3060. But in my opinion, I think one in general is still gonna be the better GPU. So first let's tackle the issue of stock and availability. I really don't think you can do any video talking about MSRP or performance without first tackling the huge issue at hand. Pretty much every single GPU that launches is sold out almost instantly. I could basically just say, here's a 3060 and here's a 3060 Ti. You can see they look pretty similar because it's about how it's going to look in gamers' hands when they come out anyway, at least for most people. But regardless, these aren't going to be invisible GPUs. Eventually, they're going to reach some people's hands and maybe that the road even more people as these are going to be around for the next several years so we certainly have to do our due diligence and inform ourselves as to which one is better which one is really going to do it for our own use case applications now one huge thing here that we have to talk about stock and availability first of all the 3060 ti has already been released certainly was a little bit better than the other gpus a lot of people did get them even if most people still couldn't it still was an improvement over something like the rt 3080. Now the RTX 3060 will be releasing as per NVIDIA at the end of February. So with that in mind, we're still a little bit far away. And if you need a GPU today, the 3060 Ti certainly is going to be your best option. So what are the biggest issues here in stock and availability? Well, the cryptocurrency mining phase, and we've talked about this before on the channel, continues to reach really record and historic highs. And the 3060 Ti along with the 3080 seems to be one of the most popular GPUs for mining cryptocurrency. Now, the 3060 with its 12 gigabytes of VRAM, that's certainly going to be very interesting to see how cryptocurrency miners take a liking to this GPU. At the initial MSRP of $329, certainly it may be a pretty attractive price to performance proposition for these miners. And the reason why I bring this up early in the video is that this is certainly a reality that all gamers have to deal with because just like everybody else they're going to retailers buying gpus in some cases it seems like they may even be directly buying from certain manufacturers like by this point we're all familiar with that picture of the 78 rtx 3080 gpus in that mining farm and you can bet that something like a 3060 will eventually end up there as well as has the 3060 ti so with those things in mind we do have to be realistic about the stock of these gpus eventually hopefully by the end of february early march when the 3060 is released hopefully something is better where availability for gamers may at least be a little bit more realistic. I think a lot of people would love to get their hands on a more modern GPU instead of having to buy an older 10 or 20 series GPU and for the entry level budget at least of what exists now at $329 MSRP we can pretty much say that this or the 3060 Ti will pretty much be the best choice until of course AMD enters the market with a little bit lower end offering in order to compete with these GPUs. So now let's look at pricing. The MSRP, if it ever was going to be that, would be $329 for the 3060 versus $399 for the 3060 Ti. Now, as we know, we have been seeing 3060 Ti's for well over $500 in many cases, so that's not really going to be a very realistic price. All third-party GPUs, the AIB add-in BART partners, have pretty much across the board raised prices on GPUs by sometimes as much as 25%, so it's not unusual to see a 3070 more than what a 3080 used to be or even a 3060 ti more than a 3070 and sometimes even approaching a 3080 as crazy as that sounds the same thing's going to apply to the 3060 as well as the 3060 ti going forward now technically the nvidia founders edition like the 3060 ti at 399 if you can catch a founders edition in stock yeah you'll be able to get it for 399 dollars at least for now nvidia has not raised the prices on their own founders edition gpu but most of the market is going to be made up of third-party aib gpus so you can certainly expect to pay a considerable amount more than what you see 
as the MSRP for both of these GPUs, both the 3060 and the 3060 Ti. So let's analyze that difference, 329 versus 399. Even when they're more expensive, they're gonna maintain you know, some type of a difference between them, even when they're over $500, like a third party GPU. So let's see if the difference stays, let's say under $100, which one appears to be the better GPU. I still think, pretty much for gamers, the 3060 Ti is going to be the fairly superior GPU. Now, the 3060 will have some particular use cases. Let's talk about some of the performance differences and some of the things that are raising a few eyebrows, primarily the 3060's 12GB of VRAM. So let's tackle the performance side and what's actually going on with the 3060 and the 3060 Ti. That way we can better justify if that price difference is worth it to step up to the 3060 Ti. Now, the the biggest, I'm not going to say red flag, but the biggest sort of attention grabbing spec on the 3060 is 12 gigabytes of VRAM. This is going to be the regular GDDR6 VRAM, the same one found on the 3060 Ti. In order to get the faster X variant, you do have to step up to a minimum of a 3080, but the 3080 has 10 gigabytes of VRAM. So some people are looking at it like, I just bought a 3080 with 10 gigabytes, and now this what appears to be a more entry level 3060 has 12 gigabytes of VRAM what's going on now of course the 3080 is a completely different class of gpu and will completely outclass the 3060 in pretty much every single scenario it has faster gdr 6 x vram so that makes up a lot of that difference not to mention it's just a completely different gpu so if you have a 3080 i wouldn't worry about the 3060's 12 gigabyte of vram at all that's like worrying about like a titan x from three or four years ago that may have 11 gigabytes or something like that theoretically it is more vram but the 3080 is such a powerful GPU and it makes up for those performance differences in many various ways. So it's really just the optics of it on the surface. But when you really get down to it, 3080 is, is fine with 10 gigabytes of VRAM. So I really wouldn't worry about that at this point. 3080 is a far superior GPU as it should be for the price that it costs. Now, what about the 3060's 12 gigabyte of VRAM versus the 3060 Ti, which has eight gigabytes of VRAM and it's gonna be the same type of GDDR6 not the X, the little bit fancier variant. Now, what we have to keep in mind here, the 3060 Ti is still a different class of GPU. They're not based on the same node. 3060 Ti will still be a far superior GPU. It's more like a scaled down 3070, while the 3060 is gonna be in a different class altogether. So definitely don't let that 12 gigabytes of VRAM fool you. The 3060 Ti is still the superior GPU pretty much across the board when you're gaming. There will be some use cases where a 3060 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM possibly may make a little bit of sense. For example, if you're a content creator, that extra amount of VRAM, especially for some video programs that really take advantage of it, you may actually see some performance benefits to having more VRAM. But in general, in most games, you're gonna be a lot better off with the 3060 Ti. If you look at the price difference, MSRP, of course, it's around the $70 price gap between the two. But let's say if that goes up to maybe $100 or $120 with these third-party GPUs, I still think that the 3060 Ti, for most gamers, is going to be the better GPU. It's just going to have better rasterization performance, it's going to have better ray tracing, and that amount of VRAM really isn't going to make that big of a difference, at least at this level. Um, I think more VRAM makes a tremendous difference if you're doing really high-end content creation. That's why the 3090 with 24 gigabytes of VRAM GDDR6X exists. It really takes advantage of a lot of applications that can actually deal with more VRAM. Even most games with a 3080 10 gigabyte of VRAM, you're really not going to be hitting that limit. Of course, there are are some use cases maybe like flight simulator 2020 if you're trying to run 4k or if you try to experiment eventually with 8k certainly that vram difference will be important but nobody's going to be using a 3060 for really maxed out 4k that's sort of a resolution for a completely different set of gpus most people that are going to be using the 3060 3060 ti are going to be playing at least at 1080p possibly 1440p even ultra wide they can have some pretty good performance even up to ultra wide 
but I think at 4K, you're going to start to see a lot more issues, a lot more reduced performance. Even with more VRAM, I think the GPU's performance is going to far bottleneck it way before any type of VRAM issues do, especially at higher resolutions above 4K. So having said that, my opinion is that in terms of performance, you should still get the 3060 Ti, even if the price difference is around there, like $100 or something like that. I still think it's going to be the far better performing GPU, but that doesn't mean that the 3060 is bad by any means. And once again, we return to the issue of stock and availability. What if the 3060 is just more widely available in the future than a 3060 Ti? Well, if you need a GPU, unfortunately, that's the world that we live in now. If you can find a 3060 and that's pretty close to your budget, and maybe you were thinking of a 3060 Ti, but you can't find one because it may not be as available, I would be okay with getting the 3060. It's not like it's completely gimped in performance or anything like that. We don't have any official reviews or performance numbers aside from what Nvidia has sort of provided to us. So the 3060 should have performance at least getting close to last generation's 2070. And that's going to be a pretty competent GPU, especially the MSRP of 329, or if you can find it for under 500. Of course, the 2070, 2070 Super were 499. So it would be nice if we maintain the 329 MSRP. But as we see with things going on recently, that's probably really not going to be the case. So we're just going to have to deal with whatever pricing these GPUs eventually end up being. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you like content like this, and I'll see you guys on the next video.